Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday and Holy Week. Our song today is one that came from the Jesus Movement. I'm only 33, so I wasn't around uh, during the Jesus Movement, but it was a part of my upbringing because of my parents and teachers, both growing up at church and then when I studied church music at Hardin-Simmons University. The Jesus Movement, many of you will remember, was an evangelical movement that started with churches like Calvary Chapel in Costa Mesa, California in the late 1960s, after the changes of the Second Vatican Council sort of trickled down from the Roman Catholic Church uh, to the rest of the Christian world. It seemed like everyone had their own views about what needed to be changed, updated, removed, or modernized. Um, since I mentioned Calvary Chapel just now, it's important to note that they were the source of so many songs that ended up in our hymnal supplement, The Faith We Sing, like the song we'll talk about today, which is called Glorify Thy Name. Calvary Chapel started a record label and publishing company called Maranatha Music. Maranatha is an Aramaic word that means either Our Lord Has Come or Come Our Lord, depending upon the context. Let's start with a reading from John's Gospel. Now there were some Greeks among those who had come up to worship at the feast. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat, but if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came down from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder, but others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he would die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. Then how can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light will be among you only a little while. Walk while you have the light, so that darkness may not overcome you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of the light. After he had said this, Jesus left and hid from them. The Word of the Lord. This song, Glorify Thy Name, is one of the first songs that I remember learning in vacation Bible school as a child in the early 90s. I remember learning how to improvise harmony with my mom, specifically with this song, in about 1990. It's a simple text that gets right to the point. Father, we love you. We worship and adore you. Glorify thy name in all the earth. Father, we love you. We worship and adore you. Glorify thy name.
So much of this image in John's Gospel is just staggering to me. Here was Jesus talking to this group of people. He says something to God, and God responds in real time. That's a pretty incredible thing to picture in my mind. Be well, my friends. And remember, Sunday is coming.